some in Las Vegas skeptical of Trump's post-shooting visit. Las Vegas, President Trump ventures into an emotionally fragile and politically dividing Las Vegas Wednesday, less than 72 hours after the worst mass slaying in modern American history. He will find a city skeptical about any political leader's ability to offer solutions and real healing. The Republican, who narrowly lost the state in the 2016 election to Hillary Clinton, will find some people ready to listen and many convinced that he cannot help. The skepticism mounted for some a day earlier, when Trump's remarks about the devastating hurricane that ripped through Puerto Rico seemed to minimize the damage there. It's our hometown. It hurt mentally, physically and emotionally. Robbie LeBlanc, a Republican who voted for Clinton last year, shook his head as he used his smartphone to replay the president's comments Tuesday on Puerto Rico. Trump suggested the U.S. territory was costing the government dearly because of damage from Hurricane Maria and that the storm's impact paled in comparison to that of Hurricane Katrina in 2005. His job is to bring people together however he can do it, said LeBlanc, a musician, pausing during a dinner with two friends at a deli near the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. But he just doesn't seem to grasp that concept. LeBlanc's companions, Sabrina Franks and Lynn Frankenberger, made it clear they also were not fans of Trump's, but said they thought it was important to give him a chance to bring people together. Frankenberger, a lay minister at a church in Las Vegas, said she had been impressed by a young man who spoke out a prayer vigil for the 58 people shot to death by Stephen Paddock, as they attended a country music conference just off Las Vegas Boulevard. We are the United States of America, not the divided states of America, is what he said, recalled Frankenberger. I am just going to trust that, Trump, can mend some hearts and help heal some of the division and some of that pain that's here. In a visit to Las Vegas nine days before last fall's election, Trump towards Clinton for criminal behavior and gloated over the sexting emails of Anthony Weiner the former Democratic congressman and estranged husband of a top Clinton aide. Trump was blown out in Clark County, the Nevada population center that includes Las Vegas, a deficit so large that Clinton managed to squeeze out a 47.9% to 45.5% victory in the state. The president indicated on Tuesday that he might be open to reopening a discussion on the topic of gun control. We'll be talking about gun laws as time goes by, he told reporters. But it seemed unlikely that time would come today, so shortly after the terrible attack here, which injured more than 500 people. And on Wednesday morning, Trump, speaking to reporters while preparing to leave for his trip, called Las Vegas shooting a very sad thing. It's a very, very sad day for me, personally, Trump said. Some Las Vegans said they think Trump's visit could do some good. I think he loves America and has tried to get something done. He really has, said Bobby Duggan, a Bell desk worker on the Vegas Strip. He just hasn't been given a chance. The Trump voter said she expected Trump to strike the right tone, though she acknowledged, you never know what he is going to say. Marcus Moreland, a Democrat and restaurant deliveryman said he did not vote for Trump but also believes his visit is important. He can tell people to keep striving and to keep up what they do every day, Moylan said. In a small, random sample of locals, though, most remain to be persuaded of the president's goodwill. Abraham Colvarubia said of the shooting, It's our hometown. It hurt mentally, physically and emotionally. But to Colvarubia's, Trump still needs to prove he is more than a great businessman and an actor," said the 25-year-old, who works at a company that washes work uniforms, he knows manipulation very well. But can he do any real good? I don't know how.